It's a great pleasure to welcome Rami Farah, the Chief Technology Officer at MTN South Africa. Uh, Rami, welcome and congratulations. Thank you for joining us on What's Next. I am fine, pretty well. How are you? Good to see you as well, Aki. Rami, what an amazing achievement. MTN was named by my broadband as the best mobile network in 2023, and recently also the best voice network of 2023. These are fantastic accolades. Congratulations. What does it take uh, to, to earn these kind of awards? Obviously, your network is superior. You know, you've obviously spent a lot of money on your network, but what has it taken to get to these awards? Uh, first, let me thank you for the recognition. It was a privilege to us to receive this recognition from my broadband. A lot of hard work from the team has been invested there. We have team that they are working around the clock, not sleeping, so we can keep this network up and we can get the best optimization so we can get the best result. So, uh, yes, uh, this recognition it came as, uh, uh, let's say, as a reward for all the hard work from the team and the big investment that NBTN is putting on this network. Uh, as we said lately, as we communicated officially, we are investing for the resilience uh, project more than 4.5 billion rand. Uh, this is a big investment for the resilience. So we can uh, generate power on the site and we can cover the gap of ESCOM outages or the load shading. So uh, we are on the right results. Rami, you mentioned load shading and vandalism, and we all know how much money MTN has spent on these uh, particular issues and continues to do so, these are some of the biggest challenges that mobile operators face. Um, and MTN is addressing these challenges in various ways, but uh, it's cost you a lot of money up to now. How is MTN addressing these challenges? What are you doing to make sure that load shedding and vandalism don't continue to uh, pose big challenges to you and your network? You know, every day we have a challenge. In this industry, as you said, uh, every day there is a new challenge. But if you have the goodwill and the team is binded together and they want to get solution, always you can find something so we can move forward. So uh, MTN management, MTN team, MTN technical team, we are working very closely. We are monitoring side by side every problem coming. We are sitting as a team and we are coming with a solution so we can overcome. Vandalism is a great threat for us. We have a lot of vandalism. Vandalism is addressing batteries, addressing cables, addressing rectifier, addressing, addressing radios, active material. Uh, also, we have the impact of load shading. Uh, really, it's impacting us very badly, but we are investing a lot in battery and generators. Uh, we are purchasing and we are installing now more than 1,000 additional generators to the network. This is a huge investment. It comes with a huge capex and opex because generator needs fuel. So now your operating cost is increasing. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, we are committed to our customer. We are committed to our subscriber, to our to our uh, customers, and we want we want to give the best service. Whatever we can do, we will try to do it so we can give the best service for our customers. Now, the word Spectrum was mentioned so many times in the past. We haven't actually mentioned Spectrum too much this year, but 2022 was great. And uh, it's been a valuable year that the Spectrum has been auctioned off, as you know. And uh, in 2022, it's, it's fantastic for MTN. How valuable was that in 2022? And is it enough? You know, Spectrum is very valuable. Spectrum, let me say it as example. It's like the fuel for the engine. You can have the generator. If you don't have fuel, generator will not run. The spectrum is very valuable. Valuable in terms of resources, in terms of uh, translating these resources back to the customer and better customer service, better throughput, better uh, download speed. So it's very essential for us. Yes, it helps us a lot, but again, it's not enough because the demand is very high. We see the projection in 2024, 2025, we will hit again a threshold where we need additional spectrum. So the demand is there. We are seeing traffic is growing exponentially. Uh, but if you want to keep the good service, the good customer experience, you need to keep expanding your network plus adding spectrum because the demand is more and more and the demand is higher. So you need to accommodate this with a lot of infrastructure expansion as well as spectrum expansion. You need both. You cannot work in one side. You need both sides. 
Ravi, when you look at those technological advancements, I mean, you mentioned the fact that, you know, you, you, you're spending more and more on technology and billions of rands. What kind of technological advancements uh, are MTN spending to explore and, you know, continue giving your users that best experience and win this award next year again? You know, 5G is the new technology. It's the future. But to have 5G and to build on the future, you need to have also the uh, background ready for it. Okay, you need to have the devices. Today, the devices are minimal in the, in the operation. Okay, uh, you're still operating with 90% devices that are capable on 4G and less than 10% of the devices are capable on 5G. So it's something we are tracking very closely. We are keeping investing so we can create the uh, coverage layer. Okay, but this investment should go hand in hand with the device so if you invest a lot before the device is coming there it will be a loss of investment because the net will be there and you will not be generating traffic enough for enough number of customer yani we we we, we appreciate a lot the 10 percent but we cannot give the best service for 10 percent and very bad service for 90 percent so the investment should be in 4g and 5g since we have now traffic generated in 4G and 5G. So in brief, our strategy is to keep investing the 5G, keep expanding the coverage of 5G, and whenever we see demand, we will come with the capacity and we will install the capacity needed on this 5G. 5G is essential, very important. This is a future proof, and we are keeping close eyes on this investment. All our infrastructure from core sites, from fiber to the sites, from the transmission infrastructure is there and ready. So now only what we are seeing, we are looking to the demand. Where the demand there, where the handset capable, the devices are available, we are going and expanding 5G there. It's interesting you mentioned that 5G, uh, only 10% of your current user base is using that 5G technology on your network. And I'm sure that's something that you want to change, right? Because I guess the entry level, the, the barrier to entry on those devices uh, could be quite costly. And I guess that's what probably it is when you mentioned so many people are still using, you know, LTE. But w what about bringing the price of the handsets down? Is that one of the challenges? Are you planning to address that? This is very positive. We are also working with MTN Group so we can bring to network, okay, some low price devices, 5G. Uh, our team are handling, they are working with the commercial team, with the sales team. We are talking with the supplier so we can bring to the market low price 5G. Uh, it's a positive, okay. Let's wait and see how will be the track. And uh, we are there. As I said, our infrastructure are ready. Once your core is ready, your transmission is ready, the infrastructure is ready, then it's easy to expand. Only now we need more capable on 5G. What keeps Rami Farah awake at night? You know, it's very stressful job, very difficult job, but it's very uh, lovely job, I can say it. Uh, what's keep me awake? It's, uh, yes, we have... Uh, Several groups, several teams monitoring all the network. We have several pillars, okay, so we can make sure that the network uh, is end-to-end -end well monitored. The people around the clock mo monitoring the network, people around the clock monitoring the performance. And uh, we have a process. It's not only one person working on this network, it's a team. So it's not only CTO is awake at night. Uh, I'm a human like everybody. I sleep, I enjoy, I eat dinner. But it's a team, okay? When the team is there, you work on shifts, you work on escalation process. Uh, once the processes are there and the team is binded, they can work for one target and one aim. I think this is a success. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm normal. I work hard, yes. I, I, I follow up closely, yes. But it's not only me. It's a big team behind me that they are well binded. We are all working for one focus. We are number one, we want to be number one, and we want to excel in the result and satisfy the customer. Rami Farah, Chief Technology Officer at MTN South Africa. Thank you for joining us on What's Next, and congratulations to you and your team.